My name is Amanda Held. I have 16 years in the Air Force. I'm currently serving at the 122nd Fighter Wing in Fort Wayne, Indiana. And I am the founder of HOOPS. HOOPS stands for Healing of Our Veterans Equine Services. There are a lot of equine programs out there. There's thousands of equine programs, but this program isn't like any other program in the world. When you come through this program, you learn that you're, there's nothing wrong with you and that you just haven't been given the skill set to deal with what you've endured. And that's it. I feel like helping people be in nature is really, really important. And we want to create a nice, comfortable environment for them to just reflect and feel safe and calm. And we have little cabins in the woods. So we're, we're really taking people out of the hustle and bustle. We're taking them out of their normal environment where maybe they can't process things and we're putting them in nature in a little cabin in the woods. And I feel like it just provides this grounding, present experience for them. Everyone comes in now on Thursday night and we just have dinner and a bonfire and everyone gets to know each other. And that's great because Every single person shows up feeling like they're the only one feeling the way that they do. The camping was amazing because, you know, as veterans, most of us are used to an outdoor type of lifestyle. It gives you a sense of home. It makes it easier to let things go. And within minutes, they start sharing stories and they find out, wow, here's a whole group of people just like me feeling the same things I'm feeling going through the same struggles I'm going through. And so Thursday night is all about just bonding and getting to know each other. Being around people, and it's not being around soldiers, it's being around people that understand what you're going through, that to, to understand that you're not the only one. And after doing this for 10 years, the one thing that I've learned that's undeniable is that the people that show up all have stuff in common, and there, there becomes a theme to every retreat. And it's always different but it's always common among anyone who shows up. And so we get this theme and we learn how to break down those barriers. We learn how to get unstuck. We learn how to take the chains off and, and relieve that heaviness that we carry around with us. And then Friday morning, we do the teachables. So there's some really important ground rules and some tools that I teach people that they can apply to their life and eliminate the pain that they're feeling. It's, I, I, I didn't know that it was this simple. My whole, my whole life, I hear, you know, you hear simple cliches and uh, you, you, the way it's said to you, the way it's brought across, I've, I've never heard it until this weekend. Ever, ever put so simply in my life. I, I've had all these things that I've already known, and I just never knew it was that simple. I'm blown away by it. She doesn't tell you what to do. She doesn't tell you how to live your life. She just gives you the tools to navigate and learn how to deal with things in a more positive manner. Just the fact of letting things go, you know, learning, learning ways to forget things and to look at the good, not the bad. Bad outcome has a good outcome, you know, and that's probably the biggest thing that I learned. So Friday morning is all about a learning session. And then we take what we learn and we put it to the test in the arena. And what's gonna happen is the group dynamic is going to be reflected in the horses. For me, it was a completely new experience with the horses. Uh, not being around horses growing up, never ridden a horse. Uh, I was apprehensive for sure. But again, gotta keep that idea that you know, an open mind, willingness for the possibilities, and trust the horse because the horse is gonna teach you a lot. And it does, it teaches you reflections of yourself, from your life, from your experiences. And you're just like, wow, you know, come with the realizations that are just flowing, that were always there, you didn't even know were there. And the horse taught you that. Horses bring a really unique type of healing. They're non-predatory herd animals and they have this social hierarchy that is very similar to that which humans have. And so what happens is there's a level of projection onto these animals. 
you know, when they look at you, 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 you feel like it's really looking at you, like when somebody's interested in what you're saying. So that's pretty incredible as well. Our body language is, is largely attached to our subconscious. And because horses are highly sensitive and intuitive and they communicate non-verbally, they can read the things about us that maybe we don't even know about ourselves. And what they do is they actually project that or they mirror those behaviors. It's surreal in the way that the horses will act according to your actions and your feelings and your emotions. When you have the ability to see a problem or a trauma or an action that you've gone through in your life being played out in front of you, it's kind of eye-opening. It's like, it's like being able to watch a movie of your life and pulling out exactly where you went wrong and learning from it with a second chance to fix it. And so it creates a really safe environment for the veterans to say, oh, this horse is going through this, this horse is going through that. And as they're explaining what's going on with the horse, they go, oh, I'm talking about myself. But the whole time they were able to get it out because they were just saying what they saw and it was externally. And then after they do that, then they have the opportunity to own that and change that. The horses are definitely soothing. They, you know, it's, and, and you definitely, you get a ton of information from them guys, you know, and it's just like the way she can read the horses and, and see their behavior. And it's, it's a mirror image of what you're feeling or dealing with in your life. And to, to actually learn to face that and to be able to face that without reverting back to isolation or anger or you know stuff like that it's it's just it's calming it's it's a sense of peace that finally there's a way to have serenity in your life usually friday night everyone's just kind of in a zone and we kind of just sit around and, and relax and go to bed and then the wheels start turning saturday is the day the walls come down i'll Give the veteran or veterans a task to complete with the horse. If you're not with yourself, if you're not congruent and confident, the horse is gonna show you that. And it will help that person work through that issue emotionally. I was so ashamed of myself and felt so guilty that I couldn't even call myself a veteran. This weekend, I was able to come out for the first time and say that I am proud to be a veteran. And that was huge. This is when people start shedding that emotional baggage that they've been carrying around for however long. We really come together in a group dynamic and I, it's when I start to watch other people facilitate each other. That incident we had yesterday with Denise in the ring, it felt like I could almost feel her and the horse's heartbeat in my, in my body. You know, the bigger picture of that was how many people came up to me after and said, like, you have no idea what that did for me. And you see these, these men that are, you know, that are reduced to tears and, and what it's doing for them, the transformation in their faces, the transformation in their body language. If I wasn't a, a true believer just for myself, just looking around and seeing that definitely is uh, um, proof. You're not logically taking yourself through some process, you're feeling your way through it. And that's why you shift, that's why people change, because they're feeling their way through it instead of thinking their way through it. And I had my breakthroughs today. It was my breakthrough, I had one with the guy here. And we got emotional together and we hugged it out. That was, that was big for me. And so we create this bond and one person will go, one person will have their breakthrough. And half the time, three other people get breakthroughs just by watching one person. And so, a lot of times, you know, Saturday is the day that everyone just kind of starts letting go. And there's just this, this airy feeling that starts coming in and people are feeling lighter and, and calmer. And then, you know, you usually have one or two people that are still holding on. They always come through on Sunday morning. Sunday morning, people are always a little bit like, wow, what, what's going on? What just happened? 
I came in Thursday completely broken and now I'm putting the pieces together and now I'm feeling lighter and now I feel compelled to help other people. Again, since day one, uh, I'm a completely different person and uh, it's eye-opening and mind-blowing experiences that can't explain it unless you're actually here doing it. That's it. You have the open mind and a willingness to pursue the possibilities and it's there and it's available. Now I'm a, I'm a testament to this Hooves retreat for sure that I'm a believer it works for sure. I feel 100 pounds lighter. I feel happy. I feel love. I feel compassion. I just, I actually feel it. it's not numbness anymore. And I know I'm not anywhere close to being where I know I can be, but it's the first steps. And so by Sunday morning, most people have gotten their breakthrough. And then we actually sit down and we do what's called vision planning. We take everything that we've learned over the past couple of days and we put it into a sustainable mission statement that they can take with them and they can read it every day and they can elaborate on it. Because I really believe that when you start writing stuff down, that's when it starts manifesting. And I, I, I don't know how to describe it. I, I just know that I've, I mean, my last therapist that I was with, I spent four years with and I've never had a moment like I did here. What do you say to that, you know? For the first time in my life, I'm looking forward to it tomorrow. I know this program, they say they want you to live in the now, in the today, in this right this very second. I personally, I'm okay with that, but I'm actually, for the first time in my life, I'm looking forward to it tomorrow. So we like to do a graduation. We have family come. We have a, a ceremony, very in alignment with what we've experienced in the military. This isn't just a veteran problem or a veteran process. We're here to support the whole family because until your whole family can heal, it's not gonna be sustainable. And we just let them know that they're appreciated and community members can come. And we, we want to send them off on their new mission, just knowing how important they are and that they do have purpose, that they are important and that you're never too far gone. I'm telling you right now, Absolutely it works. I, I would recommend this to anybody, anybody that has any doubt that everything you've tried ain't working, this is, this is the answer for what you're looking for, for sure. If you are thinking about coming here, stop. Stop thinking and just do it. I can promise you that if you're at your last resort, come here. If you're at your very first resort, come here. I can tell, I can tell you today, sitting right here in this chair, that I'm really looking forward to getting that little piece of paper this is I went through this, because I know that every time I look at that piece of paper, it's going to remind me of what just happened. Remind me that there's a tomorrow. Remind me that today is not the end of it. And for that, I'm thankful. And for that, you need to come here. The people in this program have become more than I ever would have imagined. So not only have I regained my own life back, but I've gained this family and this support that I have longed for my entire life.